Okay, we are in Pine Island. It's in Spring Hill, Florida. We were going to go up to Crystal River today, but we got distracted. So we're in like the Wiki Wachi area. That's where you can like kayak on the river. You've probably seen pictures of like the beautiful crystal blue see-through water. That's Wiki Wachi. It's like one of the springs. Um, so anyways, we got distracted here because we, it was so, I'll tell you the story, but anyways, we're here and this is a beautiful park. Um, so I will show you around this park. It's $5 to get in and it's super worth it. The way we found this was actually pretty random. I know I'm a little late uploading it because it's June now, but this footage was actually taken in February. It was one of the very last cold days that we had. So we had planned to go north to see the manatees at Three Sisters Springs in Crystal River. However, you guys know if you've been watching for any amount of time, how much we love looking at real estate and houses. So we were doing that on the way and got intrigued with this area and we decided we wanted to learn a little bit more about it and that's how we found Pine Island. So Wikiwachi is located just an hour north, a little bit over an hour north of St. Petersburg, Florida. And then Pine Island Park has a small beach, fishing areas, and covered picnic tables. Willie's Tropical Breeze Cafe is also located within the park and it has a pretty nice menu if you get hungry. It is cash only, so just keep that in mind. It's $5 to park at the Pine Island Park and if it gets full, they will turn you away. They're not gonna let you pay unless there is going to be a parking spot for you. So this is a lot different than the beaches you might expect on the in the, like the Pinellas County area. So it's gonna be different than Clearwater Beach or St. Pete Beach and beaches like that. But if you do find yourself up north, this is beautiful. It's also a great place for kids because it's so much calmer um, and safer, but we really enjoyed it. And we just really wanted to make sure that if we decided to move that way one day, that there was some sort of beach. <laughs> so that's how we found it. And it was absolutely beautiful. I'm glad that we did find it. This is Willie's Tropical Breeze Cafe at Pine Island Park and it's adorable. Like I just wanted to show you how cute it was with the beachy colors and the little tiki type umbrellas and the palm trees. We personally did not eat here because we knew we wanted to head to some breweries after this and maybe snag a bite there. Um, but I wanted to show you how cute this little cafe is. You know you're in Wikiwachi when this is next to you at a red light. <laughs> so if you're not familiar, Wikiwachi is a very large kayaking destination because it's home to some of the most beautiful water. It's see-through and the prettiest blue and green colors. As a bonus, it's also home to many, many manatees. I'll insert some pictures here from when we kayaked the river, but we really need to do it again so I can show you because it's one of my favorite things we've ever done in Florida. Another requirement for us in learning about an area we might be interested in living in is breweries. So when we left Pine Island Park, we immediately Googled breweries in the area and we really hit the jackpot. Marker 48 was the first brewery we found. It's located in Spring Hill, which is just a 10 minute drive from Wikiwachi. We loved the atmosphere of this brewery so much, both inside and out. Their outdoor space was really unique with different places to sit and they were basically all different themed, like all the different places you could sit kind of had a different theme. They often have live music and different food trucks. I can't remember which food truck was there when we visited, but I got a buffalo chicken wrap and it was so good. They also had several different IPAs. So they had so many IPAs that my flight had four different IPAs in it. And that made me really happy. You can't always find that. Um, they also had sours for Mitchell. So he was happy too. Overall, it was just a great vibe, a great experience. And the staff was really friendly and helpful too. 
From Marker 48, we went to Tidal Brewing Company, also located in Spring Hill, Florida. I ordered a coconut blonde beer and my husband ordered a pineapple cider. I'm so glad that we happened to each order these drinks because they told us that they're really good mixed, like 50-50 of each. We tried it and they really were so good. We bought a pack of each and now they're one of our favorite beers. So yeah, we loved Tidal Brewing. It was wonderful. It was also started by a husband and a wife who were science teachers. So I kind of thought that that background was pretty cool as well. Earlier I mentioned that this was filmed in February, but I misspoke. It was actually filmed in April. I also didn't realize that I had filmed what I already went over in my voiceover and our conversation just kind of made me happy. Ultimately, that's why I started these YouTube videos in the first place was, you know, I wanted to remember these moments. So feel free to keep watching, but otherwise we'll see you in our next video. So earlier, I told you that I was going to tell you like the whole, <laughs> I said I, I would tell you the whole story about um, how we ended up in, where were we even? Hernando, Hernando Beach. Beach. No, but where were we when we when I told them that I told them where how we ended up there? In Pine Island. Pine Island. Pine, Pine Island. I think it's Pine. Pine Island. Yeah, just like Pine Land. <laughs> the land of pies. So <laughs> I mentioned this part, but we were gonna and go to Crystal River, but we're always kind of looking for places that we would like to move to. would tell you the whole story of how we ended up there and then like people rushed to where we were basically so I didn't okay so basically how we ended up in Penn Island is that we were going to go to Crystal River today because it's a colder day in Florida um sorry it's bright so it's a colder day in Florida today and since it's April now those cold days are very very numbered so we were gonna go to see the manatees at Three Sisters Springs because that's where they like gather when it's cold and I really think it's kind of like the last weekend that they'll be gathering there and then um, it's supposed to only be like an hour and 20 minutes but we were hitting every single red light and we had already been driving for like I don't know at least it felt like an hour I don't know if it's an hour <clears throat> and then I don't even know how it happened, but we realized that there were a bunch of houses on the water. So we decided to pull over and look at them in Hernando Beach. Basically, we're always on the lookout for places that we are open to moving to. We live in the city and we really like it, but we are from very small towns, both of us from small different towns. So we are open to relocating to somewhere that feels a little bit smaller. That's probably why we like the Keys so much. So we went to um, Hernando Beach and drove around. Absolutely love it there. There's tons of restaurants on the water. Most of the houses are on the water, on the canal. Um, and then we decided to make sure that we could actually handle living there. And our um, prerequisites, I guess, for like living somewhere is that it needs to be close to the beach, some sort of beach, and it needs a good brewery. So then that's how we ended up at Pine Island at the beach. And after that, we checked out the breweries, which I don't know how I'm gonna piece together this video. Either you've already seen that or I'm getting ready to show you that. But that is how we ended up there. We didn't mean to, it just kind of happened. We got sidetracked on our way to trying to find a cool um, manatee little habitat. So that's, that's how it happened. Baby, come here. Down on me. I guess they could 